All right, so we're going into our top rankings, five power heading rankings into Atlanta. right after Daytona. Going into Atlanta, I'll start at first, Dad, for the NASCAR Cup Series. Of course, uh, a couple of people wrecked at Daytona, but they were running very well at Daytona, so I'm not going to take them out of my top five. Uh, I think they'll have a very strong season. We'll see how it progresses, obviously, through Atlanta. They, if they wreck, they might get t- uh, taken out. But, again, this is a fluid list that changes week in and week out. So, at number five, First time he, I think he's finished the Daytona 500, at least uh, that I can remember. I've still got Kyle Larson in my top five. I think he was at four or five last week that I had. I'm keeping him at number five in my power rankings. Number four, he got a podium finish at the Daytona 500 and kind of came out of nowhere. Got a, uh, a dual win down at Daytona. I've got Christopher Bell at number four. Number three. Uh, he ran up front quite a lot, got caught up in a wreck, but who didn't in the big one at Daytona? I still got Denny Hamlin in my power ranking. He's at number three. Uh, number two, running up front at Daytona. Again, another guy got caught up in a wreck, but the defending series champion, I got Ryan Blaney at number two. He was my number one last week, so he lost one position. And my number one for that is uh, the – Daytona 500 champion. I've got him at number one right now going into Atlanta. He's got all the momentum uh, on, on his side. So William Byron at number one. Go ahead and uh, let's see what you got for yours. We're actually quite a bit different this time. So at number five, I, I took it in consideration that we're going to a, into Atlanta. So at number five, this guy ran great at Daytona. He almost got his first win at Atlanta a couple of years ago. Uh, so at number five, I got Corey LaJoy. He's a great pack racer. He's got a shot, and I think that would be the fan favorite win for if he could get a win. I would love to see him get a win. He was close. At number four, I did not have him in my top five, but uh, he ran up front a couple times. He, he got second in one of the stages. And I kind of got smoked by his teammate there at the end, but I got Kyle Larson at, at number four. At number three, I got his teammate that smoked him on that right there at the end. It was a hell of a move by Chase Elliott. That was a great move to win that stage. That was that was very Earnhardt-esque, how he manipulated the, uh, the traffic there and came up with the lead. At number two, this guy was probably the best car at Daytona the whole night. Guy caught into a crash, uh, Joey Logano. And at number one, I agree with you. How do you not put William Byron at number one right now? Daytona 500 champ. I have him in my final four. Uh, 